I gotta have a drink before we get started. What is that racket? Okay, so are we gonna wait? We're trying to film over here! It's CJ's first cooking show. <laughs> so today we are going to make something that Nate and I came up with last night. It was based on actually what he cooked, which what did you make? It was a bacon fried bananas dessert with ice cream and a maple rum sauce. Yeah, so I could fancy it up for you, but essentially I'm just taking all of those ingredients and blending them and then drinking them with rum. <laughs> so that's a win, right? So we are going to call this the, what do we call it? Oh, Tom, uh, on our live video the other day, he called it the Bacon Bandit. No, he called- he Banana called, Bandit. Yeah, Bacon- Bacon Banana Bandit. Bacon Banana Bandit. All right, so uh, shall we go ahead and get started? I think we shall, because oh. there might be one of those guys who's trolling on YouTube that says, shut up and start cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do that. Let's go ahead and do that. So what we have here is 17 inches of cold rolled steel. Uh, this is actually a great combo. So we've got our side burner, which allows us to make some really fun stuff with a skillet. And then we've got our 17 inch griddle top. And um, this is a really fun adventure ready series. Very cool, very convenient. So um, we've got our griddle top on medium here. I'm gonna go ahead and get this started. Uh, we can get both of them kind of cranking. Actually, we want that one pretty hot. So let's get going with our bacon first. Uh, Cause bacon's always fun to incorporate into food. And if you didn't know it, drinks as well. Right, Nate? Oh yeah. Um, bacon makes it better. Everything. I mean, Bruce says butter makes it better. Turns out well, we agree with him. Bacon and butter are probably equal. Yeah, they really are. It's really interesting that bacon fat can be so important, but it is gonna play a really important role when it comes to caramelizing um, our banana. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started with our syrup, right? Sure. So we're gonna set this over here, get this out of the way. And for our syrup, we have a few ingredients. Number one, a delicious rum. And I've said it before, but you can't pick up rum and then not go. The rum! Yes, the rum is gone. Why is the rum gone? Right? Why is the rum gone? Where's the rum? Next is maple syrup. And can I just give a strong Tobin's own shout out? Because it's pure This is maple pure. syrup. And Todd Tobin. Dude, drink it. Don't drink it. Please don't do this. No, Let's I'm not. Todd, Todd do it. Todd, you do it. Let's cut to that clip. Oh, oh my oh, god. Oh yeah, keep on going. <laughs> oh my god. Todd, that's enough, dude. That's no, keep going. <laughs> yeah. So what's here we go? So we are gonna we don't need a ton because we're only making this for um, really one drink. So we've got our rum. Then we have got some of our nectar of the gods for Todd. 100% pure maple syrup. And then we've got some brown sugar. We had brown sugar. Yep. And we, hold on one sec. We're gonna kind of get this up in here. So if you don't know this, I'm an average dad. I'm by no means a chef. But You're I really, close. I really do like good food and good drinks. And so it's caused me to kind of um, force myself into a place where, uh, because I enjoy, because I enjoy stuff so much, um, I've had to teach myself and then of course learn from individuals who are behind the camera, who I do not speak of their names. <laughs> so what we got going on here is we've got, we're reducing, essentially we're re reducing our, um, our rum and our, uh, maple syrup and getting it real super thick. And so the only reason I actually know anything about this is truly because of uh, learning through cooking and figuring out and messing it up. Uh, I think your bubbles look perfect. But the, these bubbles are coming in bigger and that actually is the good sign. Yeah, so let's turn that heat okay. off. Uh, so we've got these, once the bubbles start getting big, that's when you know that it's reducing well and it's gonna start turning more into that syrup as opposed to just um, a real loose sauce because we really want that thicker syrup experience uh, for this cocktail that we're gonna be uh, partaking in here in just a minute. So, let's go ahead and flip our bacon. So Beauty. I've become uh, a multiple bacon flipping kind of guy. 
Uh, because I love bacon so much, I, so. I like to finesse my bacon. You might not be like me and that's okay. But I, I love to do multiple flips because I just love that perfect strip of bacon where it's it's not flimsy and uncooked, but it's just right. So we're gonna I'm, I'm a well done from... kind of guy. Dude, really? I don't I don't understand how you can be a well done oh, kind of like guy. Look crispy, at this. Crispy, crispy bacon. That's well, you, gorgeous. Look at this, man. That rum and that syrup and brown sugar got thick real fast. Is this your first time doing a reduction sauce? Uh, no, it's not. Actually, one of the first ones we did was a blackberry. It was the blackberry bourbon, wasn't it? Yeah. I'm trying to remember. It's about a year ago, I made a blackberry bourbon lemonade and did a reduction then. That's honestly, it's really fun and really easy. And it truthfully just looks really cool to say your cocktail, your meal has a reduction of blah, blah, blah. <laughs> That's what chefs like to do. They like to throw fancy words out, like viscosity. Hey, you throwing shade, bro? Viscosity. <laughs> I said that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this all looks fantastic so far. Yeah, we are cruising here. I'm gonna give that another minute or two. Let's slice up our bananas, won't you? I'd love to. Because um, this isn't gonna take too long once we get everything completed. Did you remember your knife? I forget. I don't take the walk of shame like Nate does. This guy loves to take the walk of shame. So, if you're an average gentleman like me, uh, you could slice this any way that you like. There's actually a decent technique because the last thing that you want to do is have gross, mushy bananas, right? You don't want to be like scooping up bananas off of your griddle top and making it look like you know what you're doing because you do know what you're doing. Okay. See, that's what I'm talking about. Well done bacon. Um, it's got to be crisp. On the edge, yes. That can happen sometimes. But I'm not gonna, I don't want to normally go much further than this. Now, the cool thing about this cocktail, actually, is that we really did come up with it after talking about a food recipe. And it was like, wow, that, that syrup would go really well with a cocktail. What could we do? Oh, dude, spice rum. You're already using that in the syrup and bananas and bacon and ice cream. like. Let's drink it. Let's drink that. And so we decided to make this a somewhat frozen kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, like a milkshake-ish? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it actually turned out thicker than we thought or thicker than we had planned and it's brilliant. You're gonna love this. Uh, and I love that a fan, or maybe, Tom, are you a fan? He is now. Because better this be. drink is named after you, That's buddy. right, that's right. We got the old spicy, no, wait, no, wait. no, the spiced rum, bacon, banana, bandit. Woo! What's the uh, paper towel for, guy? I'm gonna put my bacon on here, and we are going to we are going to dust them with some cinnamon sugar. This is going to be great to kind of candy this bacon for the cocktail. Beautiful. Pretty generous with it. We're just doing one side. You don't have to do both sides. Um, and that was just uh, cinnamon sugar? Just cinnamon sugar. And then we are going to set that aside for just a minute. And we're gonna go down with our bananas on the griddle top. Now here, again, here's the thing. We've got this bacon fat like smoking hot on here. So we're going to put this on and get a quick caramelization. You see that, those bubbles? That's exactly what we're going for. Oh, by the way, funny story the other day we were cooking and Nate thought it would be fun to get a great shot <laughs> and throw the onions down real fast in a puddle of bacon fat while I happen to be the close one. What's wrong with that? Throw bacon fat all over me and my leg. You yeah. don't remember well, this, do you? Yeah, it was delicious. <laughs> it was delicious. If you do oils uh, and butters, it, the smoke point is going to be the, where um, it'll burn faster or it won't, or you can cook it longer. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Uh, with bacon fat, you can like get this screaming hot, and that's what really is gonna allow you to caramelize um, the bananas, and it's gonna give you that good texture. And so again, we're not we're not gonna be presenting this, but it's really more for flavor, and uh, because we actually cooked this with a dessert, and it worked out really well. And so we're gonna pretty much copy you the situation. It. If, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? So how long on these bananas? Um, to that cook. is gonna depend on how hot you get your griddle. And uh, so, oh man, we are almost done. Yeah, man. 
So this one, like we said, this is a 17 inch. It gets screaming hot. It's not gonna take long. So let's um, look at that. Beauty. Right? Caramelized banana sugars. Seriously. The only way that you can make that happen is if you get it screaming hot. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab our ice and our ice cream that we have in the refrigerator inside and we're gonna start making this cocktail because it's gonna be awesome. Can we reuse the two and two? We'll be back in two and two. <laughs> Actually, the way he does it, he goes two and two. And two and two. We hey. are back. Got our stuff out of the freezer because pro tip, don't come out here with ice and ice cream. If you live in Florida and cook, you're not gonna have anything worth cooking with after if it requires it to be Because it's chilled. going to melt. It's gonna melt. It's gonna happen real, real fast. All right, so let's jump into this. Ready for this, Nate? I'm ready. So here's the thing, here's what we learned. Like I said the other day, um, we made this and only put half the amount of bananas in. Once we tasted it, we figured out it just needed more bananas. More bananas! So we're doing a whole banana. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's, it's awesome. We're gonna put in some vanilla ice cream. Oh, my daughter, she only eats chocolate. She doesn't like anything outside of her chocolate zone. So I gave her a vanilla ice cream cone the other day. And it, she goes, what is this? And I went, it's vanilla ice cream. She goes, well, what are those dark things? Obviously, it's chocolate. <laughs> I lied to her, I know. I'm a terrible parent, what are you gonna do? Oh, uh, sounds like a good parent to me. Yeah, dang right. So we're gonna add that, okay, and then let's get to our sauce. Bro, this is like magical syrup. syrup now. So the really alcohol is time to re reduce. reduce. Yeah. Um, if, your, if your sauce gets a little too thick, where it's just not pliable and not usable, um, just add some more liquid to it to kind of thin it out. And just wait, because I'm actually gonna use a small... This is literally dessert in a glass. Yeah. We are going to add some of our rum. Now, depending on how many people you're preparing this for, how many drinks, how strong you like your drink, I like my drink strong. You add enough, or extra, if you will. And then, uh, we happen to have some of this 99 banana liqueur. This is gonna give us a little punch of that banana, while also punching us with alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> And there we go, my friends. I'm going to simply cover that up. Make sure that you don't have the lid where it can spill out. That's happened before. And we're gonna give this a blend and uh, make sure we got all our ingredients and give some magic. All right, so now that we have that done and ready to go, we're gonna set it aside just for a second. Because our banana, or our bacon has had time to sit and dry off in its candied deliciousness. And we're gonna give this a, give this a chop, just however you like. How about, uh, how about you take yourself a piece of that bacon there, fella? Yeah, bacon, guys. Oh, yeah. So, we bring our cups in. We got our blended cocktail. And... I'm gonna add a little runner. Sure. We're gonna top this. A little floater? Yep. I'm gonna try, oh, and it's, wow. it should sit pretty decent up here at the top because it's so thick. I'm gonna set that there. We're gonna dust this with some cinnamon and sugar. And then we're going to Glory Town. Oh, yeah. We're baking as the mayor and you happen to be a very concerned citizen, so you need to meet with the mayor to discuss do you, uh, various... Do you bring straws? No, because you can't, that's the other thing, you can't do straws with this. Why not? It's too thick. Oh. Which one's for me is the question. Actually, can we garnish with bacon? You can do whatever you want, man, it's your cocktail. Dang right I can. This is, last time I checked, it wasn't your face on CJ's first cooking show. <laughs> Dude! Stunning. Right? Beauty. Beauty. Come on. Come on. So cheers, buddy. That's crazy good. Dude. It's got savory and salty mixed in with that sweetness. You know what's funny? There's a secondary 
characteristic here because you can smell the bacon as the garnish. Oh. So you've got like an olfactory. I'm getting nerdy again. Well. What did I say the last couple of days? Viscosity and olfactory. Dude. This guy. Viscosity. <laughs> <laughs> you freaking nerd. Uh, I'm not a food nerd, but I do love good food and I love great drinks. And this cocktail will complement any meal that you're making on your Blackstone. Um, I highly encourage you to do it. Take photos, post it, tag us in it. I apparently am on Facebook now as the CJ, the CJ Frazier. Frazier. At the CJ Frazier. If you see me in public, you can throw tomatoes at me. It's fine. I'll receive it because I'm that guy <laughs> that has a Facebook page dedicated to himself, like <laughs> Nate has had for the last 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> You love me! You really love me! <laughs> so, end of story for this recipe and more. Definitely go check out our website, www.blackstoneproducts.com. Uh, welcome to CJ's first cooking show. Do you want to have a new uh, closing tagline? What should it be? Cheers is great. Cheers, cheers is great. You know what? Welcome to CJ's first cooking show. Cheers. What a loser. <laughs> See this bacon on yours? Don't. Why would you? Why would you do this? Hold him on. Hold him on. But a boom. There's a fly on the microphone. All right, we're doing it. Starting. <laughs> <laughs>